shooting a young kid at class two and we want to maintain what we did in phase one, which is arch development, but maintain the class two correction, uh, we use a bionator uh, to um, open. Now the bionator open has acrylic here, and the reason is I don't want the incisors to over erupt because that's gonna deepen the bite. The older bionators, the American style bionators, then had an Adams class on the sixes, and that's good for retention, but the problem is the cheek gets in there, and as the cheek gets in there, it prevents the eruption of the teeth, which is what we want to correct the jewel. Can I get you to put that appliance in for one second? Oop, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Good. Right. So you can see, bite together again for me, close together. You can see good um, contact of the incisors to the acrylic, that's important. But on this side, this bow, right, wraps around itself, and as a result, it acts like a frankel. So it allows the eruption of the teeth. So this is the proper designer for bionator. Some people call it a European bionator. Now, the only thing I miss about the American bionators, open again for me, is that they do have here class. So I would suggest if you combine the American bionator with the European, you get the best of both worlds. Because then you get good retention. Uh, because right now, can you put that back in for a second? You can see he's good at wearing it. But when he opens, just open a little bit, it tends to unseat itself, bite together. So the original European bionator was a postural appliance and uh, a bit like a Maya brace, you can't keep it in there. He's done well on that. But if you have compliance problems, putting class on gives you better retention. So again, the design features, incisal coverage with acrylic, but nothing posteriorly because you want those teeth to erupt. Uh, open again for me. And what keeps the tongue from going laterally is the acrylic you have here. What keeps the cheek from falling in is what's called the uh, loop, the labial bow, but the labial bow that has a crossover wire. So that's what we use for deep bites. Class two, bite together. Now look how nice his bites turned out, close together for me. Um, you know, we've reduced the uh, overjet. Now we're just waiting for the canines. That canine had no room initially. It was stuck up there, so it's all working well. Okay.